All right, so let's continue from where we left off. And uh, the very first thing that we're gonna do is we're going to create a duplicate of this screen right here. And this is going to serve us as the base for the very next one. So I'm simply going to remove all of the main content, including the bottom menu. And uh, I'm going to select this layer right here, delete it as well. And over here on the top, we're going to write new card. We're also going to remove this uh, section, or actually we can keep it for now, and then we can see if uh, uh, we want to change it or not later on. We're also going to enable the layout grid again, so we can have these two columns which are going to serve us uh, for the structure. Now let's go ahead and let's create the main credit card. So I'm going to create a rectangle. I'm going to assign it some rounded corner to it. And now what we're gonna do is we're going to add a linear gradient, which is going to have a color around these lines. And let's select the other one and we're probably going to make it just a little bit on the lighter side so that we can have this nice effect. I'm also going to change these two anchor points for the linear gradient so we can have a little bit more wiggle room when it comes to the direction. Now let's go ahead and let's duplicate this text. I'm going to bring it all the way over here. I'm going to start adding some uh, fictional numbers and let's just uh, use the asterisk for the last ones just to preserve the security. And uh, let's uh, also increase uh, the uh, size or actually the spacing between uh, one letter and uh, the other. Also going to duplicate this again, bring it on the top, make it white. I'm going to write expiry date. I'm going to make it just a little bit smaller. Let's add the 07 July 2022, or actually, uh, let's just keep it at 07 2022. And uh, we're going to duplicate this uh, on uh, the right. We're going to write a card holder name and uh, I'm going to add name over here. And probably let's make these uh, two elements, or actually let's make the labels smaller so we can create this nice uh, uh, visual hierarchy in this mix. All right. So far, so good. And uh, at this point, what we're gonna do is we're going to add a uh, label or actually a logo, which uh, is going to be a MasterCard logo. So let's go over here and let's uh, use Nuclo Icons, which uh, is uh, a software that you can download for free, like on management software. And uh, let's remove uh, this uh, rectangle. Let's increase the size of this logo just like that. Let's bring it more towards the right. And uh, here we have our base logo. We're also going to add uh, the logo of uh, the app. So we're going to have it here on the top. Let's make this one white. Perfect, so far we're doing pretty well. And uh, another thing that uh, I probably want to add uh, is uh, a dollar amount. Let's see how that looks like. Maybe we're going to add it, maybe not, but let's give it a shot and see if this makes sense to kind of like see the, the balance. Um, I'm actually not too sure about that. And considering the UI that we're going to create, uh, it's probably best to just keep it light for now. 
going to make the card uh, going to add a little bit of a drop shadow below. So let's increase the drop shadow. Let's make it go down a bit. And uh, we're going to make this uh, go more towards uh, a blue drop shadow, just uh, like that. All right, let's consider making this from black. Or actually, um, yeah, well, let's, let's keep it as it was before. It's a matter of trial and error, as you can see. Now let's add the card details. And uh, for the card details, we're going to use some uh, input fields, which uh, we are going to find uh, right here, since we already added uh, a few. And uh, I'm going to simply copy and paste this, including the button. We're going to add uh, some uh, input fields directly here. So in this case, I'm going to delete this one to make this card number and I'm going to copy and paste using option and command C and option command B in order to copy and paste these uh, elements right here and uh, let's decrease the size just a little bit it's the same also on this one and uh, here we're going to have the card number here we're going to have the expiry date and uh, also let's add uh, um, just below that uh, the country so let's go ahead and let's uh, change uh, these elements and here we go so we have uh, expiry date and we're going to make these 50% uh, in capacity or actually let's make it um, 100 but changing the gray to, to this tonality right here let's decrease uh, the width let's duplicate this right here and I'm simply going to get rid of uh, the icons uh, for the time being. Let's bring these more towards the left. Let's bring this one here. And uh, here we're going to have uh, a flag on the very left. And uh, let's also Duplicate this master card logo. I'm trying to make it smaller. Let's just make this uh, monotone. So we're going to make these uh, both black. This one here, which is going to actually just make one 20%, the other one 40%. Uh, That'll do. Now let's uh, search for United States. We're going to make this flag uh, way smaller. All right, just like that. And let's also add an arrow, which we can leverage from this icon right here. Just like this, bring the arrow down, flip it, make it just a little bit smaller, and bring it here. All right, so this is uh, pretty much it. We have our final design, and uh, really hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I'll see you in the very next one.
Hey guys, Bridget here in <clears throat> Hey guys, Bridget here. In this video we're going to create this screen on the right using Figma. Now, this is part of a series of videos in which we're creating a app from scratch. So, if you're interested in seeing other videos in which we're recreating these other screens, these other screens from scratch using Figma, feel free to check them out. And uh, I'm also leaving the link to the full UI kit, which we took inspiration from, from UI8. So if you're interested in checking out the entire UI kit of NFTX, feel free to check it out. Feel free to have a look in the link in the description. But now without further ado, let's jump right into the video.